Zaga. Zaga 33. This, I think, is probably... The reason it's important to me is that I think it's the first roguelike I ever played. So it's one of uh, uh, Michael Browse Mastop's earlier games. And uh, I didn't really have any experience uh, with uh, roguelikes before this. And when I had a quick go, I, like, I died pretty quickly. I thought, oh, that's not very fun, is it? But somehow I kept on going back and uh, eventually like, oh, I want to go as far as I can. And yeah, I completed it. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder if there are any more games like this. Uh, fun fact, while not thinky, the other game Nimbus is also swell. I haven't looked at uh, Numenon Games' Nimbus. So maybe that's something I should check out at some point. So, um, so there's a, it's like, you know, roguelike, there's things you can pick up and there are aliens with all of their different ways of chasing you. Um, each species of alien behaves differently. Goblin moves towards you if you are orthogonal, otherwise moves randomly. And the snark aims halfway between you and the exit. So, Saga 33. So you start there, and turn-based, as every roguelike, uh, every good roguelike should be. And you've got one item, which is the drone. So I'm just going to chuck in the drone here. And it basically attacks stuff for you. And all the enemies take two hits. You have nine hit points. And then you pick up more items, and you don't know what they are. You're going to have to work them out. And this is randomized every time you play. Once you've worked out what an item is, you know, if you've used it one time, um, it'll tell you what it is. Um, and if I remember rightly, you can... Uh, oh, there you can right-click over here. It shows you those things. You can also hover over here. That's a drone. It's metallic and friendly. That's you, the her hero, who's also sadistic, which is very interesting. And that's a wall. Let's go to the second room. All right, so let's find out what one of these does. Oh, that I believe was a quake, which just rearranges the entire room. Right, what about... Now, you can attack. You can attack twice. I'm uh, sorry, you can attack them, but if you, you know, it's just like a, you know, roguelike. You stab them, they get hurt, and you have to stab them again to kill them. Every enemy's got two hit points, if I remember correctly. But they're obviously going to attack you and hurt you. So let's see what number one does. Oh, that's a bomb. Okay, that's kind of useful. Now, as with all roguelikes, you know, it's... Um, you don't need to kill everything. And in fact, a lot of this game, the way of to survive is simply, you know, not stopping to, to get kill everything, because there's no points. But you might want to get... Um, the artifact, you see there's one artifact in every room. Um, but if I go down there, I'm probably going to get ambushed by those um, those things down there, which are, what are they? Shogs. Alright, let's go on to the next room. Ooh, I don't have any, I don't have any items. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I could tell this is Michael Pro just by looking at it as J. Delible. Uh, you know what? I'm a bit worried about I'm going to get uh, surrounded, so I'm going to just attack this guy here. Uh, not good. If I go to the right, that uh, that guy to the right, that shock to the right is going to move in one and block where I want to go. The one below me is going to come up, and then I'll be attacked from the one at the top. This is not a good move. The only thing to do, I can either attack downwards, but then the shog that's just up to the right of me, this is gonna, this is gonna come across here, right? Um, might be better to retreat upwards and just take the hit, so I can attack one at a time. This is not the way I'd like to play. All right, that's a thing we don't know. Can we get this one? Mm, yeah. Oh, 
So that number one is like this uh, laser beam. That's pretty cool. Okay, pick that up for a bomb for next room. Fun fact, Zaga33 was made for the 7-day roguelike challenge in 2012, says Crowleyson. This year's 7-day roguelikes begins 2nd of March. Okay, so you got these squid things. Hmm. If I remember rightly, they just go in one direction. If they see you. Animo watches. Cheerful. Okay, let's go here. Oh, not good, not good. It's following now. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, and it's blocking, blocking down there. <laughs> if I want to pick up the artifact, I have to basically take on those three. I'm not going to do that. Mm, okay. You notice I get a hit point to increase every time I leave a room as well. Damn it, why didn't that guy come? Oh, the old problem with roguelikes, you know, you have to move into danger. Actually, I'm supposed to have changed the category here. I apologize. Let me change the category. Zaga 33. There we go. Done. Uh wow. For some reason it didn't it didn't change my category. I know I'm using a valuable Zaga 33 minutes. Right, let's try this again. Uh, let's now do the bomb. Thank you. Mm. Ah. I don't like leaving these artifacts behind, but if I hang around, I'm just gonna get injured. I've only got three hit points left. Just have to hope the next one is more kind to me. Uh, you have to play very, very carefully if you want to complete Zaka 33. You've got to not take unnecessary hits. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, this is not looking good. Oh my god. My only hope is this. Go on, please do something nice for me. Press one. Oh, it was a heal. Nice. I think we're almost at full nine out of nine, so. But I don't have anything. Hmm. Oh my god. If I move to the right, I'm, I'm going to get hit again by this squid. We'll get this heal here, which we can use before we leave. Or maybe we'll just wait to the next room. Let's hold on. Oh, oh God. Let's hold on to it. Um... Yep. <laughs> this is um, not a good position to be in. Uh, do I want to go down or up? I think I want to go up. And this is a drone. Let's move up. If I'm not careful, I can die in one move. I'll be two hits and I'll be dead. Let's just move to the right carefully. Now release the drone. Okay, now I, I definitely want to heal. Okay, you can swap places with the drone. Yeah, just let the drone do all the fighting. The drone is not invincible. Uh, it will die if it gets too many hits. <laughs> Stream just paused when you risked that move. Uh, I only wish the drones would come with you. It's, what, a, what a pain, man. I didn't think what I was doing. It's a terrible game. Just don't... You have to think about every move. 
if you just like press right, like, oh, I wonder what's in here. No, stop. There's a new artifact up the top there. I don't think I'm going to get through here without lots of fighting. Ah, uh, God. Oh, no, no. <laughs> right, I need to get out of here. It's a terrible game. You have to think about every move. Did I say that? That's not what I intended. I'm, I'm not speaking English. Oh, come on. These move randomly, right? I need to just... Oh, come on. Stop it. Let me get past. Okay, okay. I wonder what this number two is. Um, let's try to find out what number two is. Oh, it's a freeze. Nice. Except, um, I think that's probably not a good idea to go down there. Okay. Oh, we can get through there. We've got two heals. It's pretty good. Oh, we got the snarks. Snarks, right? That's what they're called. Snarks, intercepts, and boojum. Would like to be halfway between you and the exit. <laughs> uh, Marcus Don now wants to make a game where if you think too much, you lose. <laughs> it should be our slogan. Oh, I'm really good at creating all these very catchy slogans. Um, okay. Ah. Oh. Not thinking enough. Go away. Right. What was that freeze? Okay. Uh, there's another freeze up there in the corner. Uh, this looks like very difficult to get to the exit without a lot of killing. I think this point is a good one to hit the freeze. Because I at least have a path through. I was wondering if I could get the other freeze, but they're, they're all waking up, so I guess not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I think I should leave it there, because I've been doing it for about 10 minutes. Um... I can't remember how many levels there are. I feel like it's 20-something. Um, and, you know, every few levels, the, the the caverns change, and then you get a new enemy. And there are some pretty dicey enemies in the list. Um, this isn't this isn't Brow's best work, um, but it's the one I started with, which really started me on the journey of getting into roguelikes. I mean, I think... Uh, uh, was it Tinker Paus? I don't know how it's pronounced. It's Portuguese, right? Uh, it's supposed to be his best work, and I've played that bit. I've not completed it. I've not finished. Uh, I've not got to the end of it, which it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of levels to get through to finish that one, and I'm no, no good at it. Um, so, that was Zaga 33. Uh, so, it is available from Itch for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android.